Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. There's just no way to confuse platinum with silver. Let's explore. I'm sure you may have heard this too and seen it. People say, well, I don't really mess with platinum because I too easily can get it confused with silver. Looks the same. And I tried to get the lighting conditions just right, but this is about as real as I can get it so you can see the difference between platinum and silver in terms of its color. There's also an, another very glaring detail, which I'll talk about here momentarily. But before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about silver. You know, what is it? Well, you know, probably the most concise way to say it is that it is a, uh, something we're very familiar with. It has an atomic number of 47. Most of us know that. It is the, uh, has the symbol AG in the periodic table, which is from the Latin Argentum. And uh, that is essentially uh, derived from the Proto-India-European as being shiny or white. And uh, it's a lustrous transition metal and has the highest electrical conductivity, thermal conductivity, and reflectivity of any metal out there. And it is a pretty amazing that silver is the most versatile in its uses uh, throughout. It, has, it is amazing in its properties. Um, as you know, silver is used in a lot of different applications uh, from water purification, photovoltaics, that's solar panels, um, electrical contacts, uh, contacts in terms of its use as well as in photography and x-rays, um, disinfectants, micro microbial, um, medical applications. I mean, it is, it is just the almost an endless list of different things that silver is used in. And it seems to be growing uh, each each uh, couple of years in the amount of uses that silver has. Without a doubt, the most versatile of all the metals. But probably one of the biggest things to think about is, is its density. It is uh, 10.49 grams per cubic centimeter. Um, and that means that it is more dense than other basic metals out there, including copper and steel and iron and the like. It's a little bit more dense than some of those other metals. Um, and uh, But nonetheless, it is not nearly as dense as other metals out there, such as platinum, and that's what you're looking at there. That's probably the easiest way to tell the difference in that and its reflectivity. And let's talk a little bit about platinum. <clears throat> platinum has the symbol, the atomic symbol PT, and its atomic number is 78. It is a dense and malleable ductile, highly unreactive, uh, by the way. And that's another aspect and the big difference between silver and platinum. It's precious. It has, does have a silverish, a white uh, hue to it. It is a transition metal as well. And its name even originates from the Spanish platina. Uh, which means kind of like it's like silver, <laughs> and it's a diminutive of plata. In other words, it's it's silvery kind of in appearance, but uh, but it's not quite as reflective. It's one of the least reactive metals, uh, but its density is really the thing, and as and as well as its hardness as well too. It's a very strong metal, uh, but it has a density that is much greater than silver. Uh, more than double. It's 21.45 grams per cubic centimeter. 21.45 grams compared to 10.49 grams per cubic centimeter for silver. So more than twice the density. So that's why you see the same weight. This is one ounce of silver and this is one ounce of platinum. Uh, so likely, especially if you're accumulating bullion, just the size differential between the diameter of one and the other will give you that uh, uh, that example. You can see how different they are. That difference is very easy to distinguish just in terms of the size of the pieces, which means that 
Platinum is much more dense, uh, much smaller. That is 30 millimeter for this. And I think this is 38.1 for the silver. Uh, and these are platinum um, and silver maple leaves, which has the same exact design. So you can really clearly see the difference between the two. And I did a video comparing all of these metals, actually, um, um, all the different precious metals that, uh, that are traded between platinum, palladium, uh, silver, and gold in another video. I may post a link to that in the end screen of this video, but even just the color is different enough. Platinum is a bit more dull in appearance. Now, these are brilliant uh, uncirculated examples, so it's uh, difficult to really illustrate it, but most of us have seen silver when it's tarnished. It does react to the environment, and it can show some hue differences uh, with, the, with the tarnishing and the toning that can occur on silver. Uh, platinum does not react like gold it does not react. But the brilliant uncirculated examples of these coins and these metals are, I think, quite apparent. And I'm going to turn them so that you can see them in different areas of how the light reflects as natural as I can. Uh, because what you are seeing it is natural kind of sunlight coming in through a window so that you can really see the example of the color differential between the two. As you can see, the platinum does have a, a darker tonality to it. It still shines, still brilliant, and a lot of that is how the Royal Canadian Mint struck these pieces, but it's relatively the same. Silver is much more brilliant and white, uh, much more brilliant white look to it. Um, so, which means that though they are similar to a degree, they are different enough. As different, I believe, almost as different as a clad coin compared to a silver coin. You can really tell the difference between their two, but they're all, they're both considered kind of silvery in appearance. Silver being the most reflective metal out there, even in its dull state, even if it's a matte finish or whatever, uh, you can't really hide that fact only to a degree. There's so much of how the light trans, how the light is diffused from the surface when it has a texture applied to it, if it's vapor blasted. And the same thing for platinum. It's just really, uh, I believe, it's it's almost obvious. And I, want, I don't want to um, say that it's completely obvious because obviously they're similar. I mean, considering platinum's name. But, uh, but... Look at these. Just look at it. You know, that's a, a phrase that sometimes all you can do is just look at it. And that is the case here. Sometimes it requires to look at it a little more closely. But even just looking at these metals, I believe the difference is paramount. I believe it's there. I believe you can see it if you look at it closely. But even if you don't want to uh, observe uh, closely with your eyes, uh, looking at it in terms of the size, most platinum is going to be weighed out in troy ounces. So therefore, um, you know, when you look at the, if there's a two ounce platinum coin, uh, that, uh, that and it would be the case, it's, I don't think there is such a thing that would be the same diameter as a one ounce silver coin. I guess that could be, but uh, you'll just have to look at the, what it says on the coin, two ounce versus one ounce. Cause you do see that with gold, um, where a two ounce gold, because gold has similar density um, as platinum, uh, but obviously platinum and gold are very easy to distinguish. It's very easy to distinguish gold uh, from other precious metals because it's the only one that's yellow. Brass would be the next thing, but it's not, a, it's not an element. It's a alloy of, I think, tin and copper. But uh, nonetheless, there it is. So, uh, Think about it, there really is no way to confuse the two, the, the, the two metals. And the third thing you won't be able to see on this video, but actually pick up and hold a one ounce platinum coin compared to a one ounce silver coin. You will be astonished and amazed, just the feel of it in your hand, the density. Platinum being more dense even than gold, it is the most dense of all the noble metals out there. Uh, that are uh, tracked on the uh, uh, well on Kitco or on the charts in the marketplace. Um, it is more dense than rhodium, palladium, silver, and gold. 
Uh, only two other metals are more dense than platinum, and that is iridium and osmium. So you really feel the weight of it in your hand. So think about that. Um, next time uh, you think to say, well, I don't want to I don't want to stack any platinum because I might get it confused with my silver. No, you will never get it confused with your silver. And I think just looking at this video, just looking at the screen, uh, I think should give you that uh, confidence that when you see these metals together, because not many people look at these metals together. That's why I wanted to do this video to show you the, the, the distinguishing difference between platinum and silver. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch this video. And I am bullish on both metals, but I even think that platinum is a bit undervalued these days. It's a lovely metal. I enjoy it. It's one of my favorite precious metals. It just has a cool, heavy feel to it. It's a strong metal. And uh, I, I'm going to continue to accumulate some as I can. Obviously, I have my other goals that I want to try to do. But I do believe that uh, Platinum's um, future uh, will look good in due course. Uh, but uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below about these two metals. The rural Canadian maple leaf, by the way, is, an, is a unique example of precious metals being uh, different than the standard. In other words, they're smaller and thicker. And you know me, I'm down with the thickness. The Royal Canadian Maple Leaf here, even though it doesn't appear to be incredibly thick, it is the thickest platinum bullion coin out there, um, indeed. Now, uh, for the modern stuff, uh, other than the old Libertads, the platinum silver maple leaf is also the thickest out there and smallest diameter of, of regular uh, known uh, mainstream bullion coins. So that's why I wanted to use these as an example. So multitude of gratitude to you all. I want to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.